hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i am going to review a new fragrance this is not new but this is new in my channel this is modern moss by maison alhambra maison alhambra is also owned by la Taffa, one of the most famous fragrance house based in the middle east haven't opened this yet so this is obviously a first impression review that's the seal of authenticity of this house alrighty let's open this Oh, pretty much heavy. Nothing special inside, this, but the bottle is gorgeous. It's heavy. Oh, wow. It's very heavy. The top is very heavy. This is a luxury bottle. It's not cheap. It's not plastic. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So hopefully the juice is beautiful too. I love the color. I super love the color of this one. It's glossy light pink. So let's try the juice. It's very heavy. You can tell it's really um, fancy. I think this is the heaviest cap of fragrance that I have or I own. All right. I kept this it for a couple of days, so hopefully it's good already. Ooh, sweet floral, fruity, citrusy. Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful. I gotta wait for a couple minutes. Let's see. Let dry down sweet rose i don't know if there's wood in here but there's some kind of earthiness but very light it's beautiful fragrance i love it i love it what are the notes of this one let me see it's more of rose sweet rose not a very fresh rose in my opinion it's sweet rose sweet rose is more prominent in the dry down but the opening is more citrusy but also a sweet citrus not a harsh citrus okay now the dry down is more of like a fluffy musky rose from the name itself it's spot on it's um Modern musk, modern musk. I thought it's a musk of a rose, fluffy musky, um, sweet rose. A little bit earthy. It's not any more citrusy as the opening, but the citrus in the opening is not harsh, like I said. So um, the um, notes: mandarin, peach, citrus, violet, caramel definitely <laughs> that's i think that's what makes up with the um, rose scent the caramel it's kind of like um caramel melted melted into the rose and then the mask oh okay that, that patchouli that's the one i smell um earthiness in this one but it's not bad because patchouli if it's too much on the fragrance can be harsh um but beautiful beautiful patchouli um scent and musk and rose so yeah um allegedly this is inspired by uh what's the fragrance morning musk by alexander j and some people um compare this also with roses musk by montal so that i cannot confirm i don't i don't own those fragrances but this is inspired more of the morning musk by alexander j which is um four times more expensive 
fragrance overall i love this fragrance i think this um this is only my opinion this can be worn in all season um the opening can be more of a summery but the dry down is warm let me try this on the paper i don't think i still have the strip I can't find it. I was trying to find it before I started filming. Spicy. I can smell the spiciness now. Earlier it was only the citrus, the rose, the musk. Now I can smell the spiciness but sweet. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, that can also be worn in special occasion in my opinion. But soft and fluffy it's more of a friendly um, scent now for the longevity that I cannot confirm because you know this is um, first impression so hopefully I can have a um, in-depth review of this one I won't promise I'm busy with work it's beautiful I love it I love to dry down more. Yeah, like I said earlier, I melted caramel on the rose flower and the moss. It's beautiful fragrance that I can highly recommend. For the price, it's only below $30 on this one. I think this was $24. And if you compare this with the Morning Moss by Alexander J, I think Alexander J is more of a ninety dollars for this bottle at Amazon. Same size. This is three point four ounce. So yeah, it's a beautiful, expensive smelling, sweet rose fragrance. I don't know if it has saffron in this one. I can smell a little. Um, saffrony in this one but like i said it's more of a rose fragrance musky rose if you wanted a short description of this one musky sweet rose or caramelized rose it's beautiful it's fluffy um it, it claims to be unisex but i don't think so in my opinion but it you know it depends for me it's feminine so yeah, that's all for today's review of this Modern Moss by Maison Alhambra, also owned by La Tafla. It's beautiful, it's lingering, <laughs> so hopefully it would last longer, longer than 6 hours. But if not, I would not be upset because it's only $24. So yeah, that's all and thank you so much for watching my perfume review for today. Bye!